Welcome back to your CompTIA IT Fundamentals training course. To finish off Domain 1.0, we will talk about troubleshooting methodology. Troubleshooting can be broken down into eight steps. Identify the problem, research the knowledge base and internet, establish a theory of probable cause, test the theory to determine the cause, establish a plan of action, to resolve the problem and identify potential effects, implement the solution or escalate as necessary, verify full system functionality, and if applicable, implement preventative measures, document findings through lessons learned, actions, and outcomes. To identify the problem, you will want to gather information, duplicate the problem, question users, identify symptoms, determine if anything has changed, and be sure to approach multiple problems individually. Information can be gathered from many sources. You may want to utilize log files, built-in self-test, update history, current settings compared to default settings, and hardware information amongst other sources. Sometimes it is possible to duplicate the problem. If able, duplicating the problem can make identifying the problem and ultimately the solution much easier. Questioning users can also prove to be very valuable. When questioning users, be sure to apply empathy and talk in a manner which users can understand. Actively listening to the user ensures you pick up on keywords or clues as to what the issue is. Symptoms can be identified through questioning or viewing for yourself. This would include things such as the system making an unusual noise, smoke coming from the system, error messages, or unexpected performance. If anything has changed, that may be the cause for the failure. To determine if anything has changed, you may want to review update logs, compare settings, or verify if any hardware upgrade has taken place. There are times when multiple problems may be reported. It is typically easier to approach each individual problem. You may also find multiple problems have a common cause. Once you have identified the problem, you will then want to move to researching the knowledge base or internet if needed. Oftentimes, an organization will have an established knowledge base of common issues and potential solutions. This is a great starting point for your research, but you may find yourself without the answers you seek. In this case, the internet can serve as a great tool. If using the internet is important to use reputable sources, such as a manufacturer's website. After the problem has been identified and research has been conducted, it is time to establish a theory of probable cause. The more thorough the previous steps, the best chance of success your theory is correct. Once your theory has been established, you can test the theory. This involves applying what you think will fix the problem. This may include updating software, uninstalling and reinstalling, or replacing a cable. It is important before making any changes to record the previous configurations or back up the system if needed. If the theory is confirmed, it is time to resolve the problem. A plan of action can be established to include steps taken to resolve the issue. This may include continued use of the solution provided from the theory or something more complex. If the theory is not confirmed, a new theory may be established, or it may be time to escalate the request to a higher tier support. Once a plan of action is implemented, you will want to ensure the system, applications, and its peripherals are functioning as expected. Sometimes preventative measures may also be needed so the issue is not recurring. Preventative measures may include backups, enabling malware protection, or user training. In my opinion, one of the most important steps of the troubleshooting methodology is lessons learned. Given enough time and users, issues are likely to occur again. 
having adequate documentation from the previous instance will make resolving the issue the next time much easier and more time efficient. We will now move on to our review questions. Question 1. Place the troubleshooting methodology steps in order in which they should be conducted. The correct order for this would be identify the problem, research the knowledge base and internet, establish a theory of probable cause, test the theory to determine the cause, establish a plan of action to resolve the problem and identify potential effects, implement the solution or escalate as necessary, verify full system functionality, and if applicable, implement preventative measures, document findings through lessons learned, actions, and outcomes. Question two, place the storage units in order from smallest to largest. The correct order for this would be bit, byte, kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, and petabyte. Congratulations on completing Domain 1.0. In our next lesson, we will journey into Domain 2.0, Infrastructure. I hope you'll join us in classifying common types of input-output device interfaces, and I would like to thank you for watching.